this. I mean, it's so unusual when you just think about it on the most basic level, Jack, of you now have, well, in the last few minutes, now an admitted Russian spy talking about what she was trying to do and now going to be working with the federal government. How important is this that she now is, admits to the judge that she engaged in a conspiracy against the United States to basically infiltrate herself in amongst the power, power, powerful politicians and power brokers in, in U.S. politics? Well, it, it, it's seemingly un, relatively unimportant in and of itself, but it's part of a bigger picture that enhances its importance. It is important because, mm -hmm. as the prosecutors have said, all of this activity on her part and, and, and while the president was thinking about the Moscow Tower and so on, this was all taking place at a time when Russia was engaged in a sustained campaign of interference with our elections. And, you know, so you have the GRU intelligence officers um, who, who have hacked into emails of various Democrats, uh, in, including the campaign manager for uh, Mrs. Clinton. Um, all of those activities are happening around the same time. And, and they all fit together as, you know, such a powerful demonstration of Russia's intent to affect our elections. Now, what I think the special counsel is uh, is on the in the course of doing here is tracing the linkage between yeah. Trump's business and Trump's politics, and and this is where I think the president will find himself on extremely thin and worrisome ice. Um, I, if I had to guess, this is the this is the issue I think that will really cause jeopardy to the presidency of Donald Trump. Asha, what do you, how do you think, Maria Butina, what do you think of what we're learning now in court that she's admitting to? Um, how it fits into this larger conversation that we're having about Russian influence, the attempts of Russian influence in, the, in, the, in, in U.S. elections? Right. I think Jack has it right. When we talk about Russian election interference or active measures, what we're talking about is actually a number of different fronts that they're operating on. So you have the disinformation campaign on social media. You have the hacking of the DNC server. This is called a political influence campaign. It's when spies are acting fairly overtly um, and essentially trying to court, uh, recruit, assess people who might, may be able to uh, then um, influence policy towards Russia. Um, one thing that stands out to me here, two things that stand out to me here, most spies are here under diplomatic cover precisely so that if they get caught they have diplomatic immunity. Um, Maria Butina was here without diplomatic cover so now she is caught in the crosshairs of criminal prosecution and if the second thing is that if the government has evidence that she was acting at the direction and control of Russia, that makes her an agent of a foreign power, which means that she would have been a legitimate target for FISA surveillance. And anyone who was talking to her during that time, uh, uh, if they were surveilling her, would be captured on that as well. So I agree with uh, Jack that there could be many other people who should be concerned at this point. Fascinating. And the web is so impossible to follow. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. We'll continue to follow what's coming out of court with Maria Butina, but also this coming up.